Hello everyone, I'm Arkansas Storm Team Meteorologist Alex Libby. In this video, we are covering everything to do with the forecast for the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season and NOAA. They just released their forecast and it is historically active. We're going to see a really active season according to NOAA. I'll, tell, I'll show you their forecast, also tell you why this season could be one for the record books. So take a look at their forecast. The average first, let's talk about that. Let's set a baseline. For an average Atlantic hurricane season, we will see 14 named storms. That includes tropical storms in all hurricanes and all major hurricanes. Now, out of those 14 named storms, on average, seven of them strengthen to hurricanes with winds over 74 miles per hour, and three of them, on average, become major hurricanes with winds at or above 111 miles per hour. Now, take a look at the 2024 forecast. It's impressive. 17 to 25 total named storms, 8 to 13 of those becoming hurricanes, 4 to 7 of them becoming major hurricanes. Now, 2020 was the most active year ever on record, and we had 30 named storms. But if we get to 25, that would make it the third most active year on record. You might be wondering, why are we expected such an active year? Well, it has to do with a couple of factors. First, the sea surface temperatures in May already are very, very warm. They're very, very warm compared to average. And that's the map you're looking at right now. The blue is below normal sea surface temperatures and the yellow and orangish color, that's above normal. And that above normal is right in the central Atlantic Ocean, right in the central Atlantic Ocean where these hurricanes form off the coast of Africa, and then they move off to the east. So that is, that is a tall tale sign that we will see an active season. Now that's not the only thing. We're also expected to fall into in a La Nina. Now the El Nino Southern Oscillation is an ocean current right where you're looking on your screen in the Pacific Ocean, in the equatorial Pacific. Now when the temperatures in that circle are above normal, that's, a La Ni that's an El Nino, and that typically has big impacts on our winter weather in the United States. It also tends to lead to a below average hurricane season. Now we're expected to go from uh, El Nino to a La Nina, and you can already see that happening. You can see that blue right there near the equator. That's below normal sea surface temperatures. And what that does to the Atlantic Ocean is reduce the amount of wind shear. Now, wind shear destroys hurricanes. And since we're, we're expected to be in a La Nina, that's going to mean less wind shear, which is good for stronger hurricanes. That means two different factors, the sea surface temperatures along with La Nina, are really creating the perfect storm for hurricanes. And here is a list of the names for 2024 season. Alberto, Barrel, Chris, Debbie, Ernesto, Francine, Gordon, Helene, Isaac, Joyce, Kirk, Leslie, Milton, Nadine, Oscar, Patty, Raphael, Sarah, Tony, Valerie, and William. You might be noticing that is only 21 names. Well, that's right. There is only 21 names and the forecast was for 17 to 25. And before 2020, and in 2020, when we had 30 named storms, the, every storm after 21, which there were nine of them, were named after the Greek alphabet. But after that year, they started implementing a secondary list of 21 names. And just a few off that list, there's a Adria, Braylon, Deshaun, Emery, Foster, Heath, Kenzie, Michaela, Nolan, Orlando, Sophie, Will or just a few of that secondary list. So no longer will they be named Alpha, Beta, Gamma, off the Greek alphabet, but they actually have a secondary list. And according to NOAA, we might have to dip into that secondary list with their forecast of 17 to 25 named storms. So how will it impact us in Arkansas? So I'm a meteorologist here in Arkansas. And as far as the impact for us, not huge. By the time a hurricane makes it this far north, in inland here into Arkansas. It's weekend a lot. Uh, we could see some flash flooding and also what hurricanes can cause in the summertime, tornadoes. They can cause tornadoes here in Arkansas. That would be the main impacts for us. 
And honestly, a benefit of hurricanes, or at least the remnants of hurricanes, tropical storm remnants and depressions, is that it will bring us a lot of moisture for a time of year where we typically don't see much. Now, July, August, September are Arkansas's driest month, and we typically get into some drought concerns that time of year. So if we can get a weak tropical depression to make its way up, up north, honestly, it would be a plus because it would limit that drought conditions that hurt the farmers and, and different forest fire concerns that it brings here in Arkansas. So there's your 2024 season forecast. If you're going to the ocean, Florida, you might want to check the forecast before going down there. That's going to make a much busier late summer and fall for those folks in the Gulf Coast and Florida. Here in Arkansas, it honestly might be more of a positive impact than a negative impact.